Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss the difference between delete and truncate command in SQL. The delete statement is used when we want to remove some or all of the records from the table, while the truncate statement will delete entire rows from a table. Delete command can filter the record by using the where clause. However, the truncate command does not allow to use where clause, so we cannot filter rows while truncating. Delete activates all delete triggers on the table to fire. However, no triggers are fired on the truncate operation because it does not operate on individual rows. Delete performs deletion row by row one at a time from the table, in the order, they were processed. However, truncate operates on data pages instead of rows because it deleted entire table data at a time. Delete statement only deletes records and does not reset the table's identity, whereas truncate resets the identity of a particular table. Delete is a DML command as it only modifies the table data, whereas the truncate is a DDL command. Truncate command is faster than the delete command. Delete command require more locks in database resources because it acquires the lock on every deleted row. In contrast, truncate acquires the lock on the data page before deleting the data page, thus, it requires fewer locks and few resources. To use delete, you need delete permission on the table, but to use truncate on a table we need at least alter permission on the table. Delete statement makes an entry in the transaction log for each deleted row whereas, truncate records the transaction log for each data page. Once the record deletes by using the truncate command, we cannot recover it back. In contrast, we can recover the deleted data back which we removed from the delete operation. Please feel free to ask any questions. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.